Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple code. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. From this video, I am starting a brand new series on Next.js with a TypeScript. For understanding this playlist, you should have a knowledge of JavaScript, React and TypeScript. So, on my channel, Dr. Weapon Classes, I have 958 videos on different different technology like I have videos on Android mobile application development with Kotlin, with Java, with Jetpack Compose. I have a playlist on Next.js and Mern series like Next.js full stack developer that is based on JavaScript. This series is also here you see in which we have more than 60 video I have that is all about on Next.js with JavaScript. For understanding a new series with the TypeScript, you should have a knowledge of TypeScript also. For TypeScript, I have 19 videos separately. If you watch those videos, then you will understand what is the meaning of TypeScript and why we require this. Not only that, I have the separate videos on uh, React also, React Native also, React Native with TypeScript, React with Material UI. There are so many playlists are available here to understand this playlist also. I have separate playlist on Rust also. I have separate playlist on Go also. So there are so many playlists available on my channel, Spring Boot also. If you need any, you can watch those playlists and take advantage. All are free of cost. And remember that. Once you will watch this playlist, you would not stop yourself because in this playlist, I am not wasting your time. I am just explaining the simple, easy coding to understand for a fresher, for advanced programmer also. So from this video, I am starting this new playlist on Next.js with the TypeScript. For running this, we required Node.js. So in this first video, I am going to explain you that how to install Node.js. If you are not familiar with this, and what is the requirement of Node.js, how to create first application with a TypeScript in Next.js that we are going to understand. So I am just closing this channel now, log out. So I am closing all videos also. If you need, you can go there. And here, now I need to install Node.js. So type here Node.js. This is the software that required to run all JavaScript based libraries like React, Next.js, TypeScript and other. So this is stable version we have to install. So I click here. If you having a Mac PC, then you will install the Mac version. I have window PC, so I am installing a window one. So after that, it will be download here. Just double click on it. Try to install it like this. I have already installed. So you can repair yourself also if you don't have so i can say repair because i have already installed so you need to install it so freshly i am installing it you can install one time nothing special in it just double click next 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 and it will finish the installation you see installation is finished so click on finish button i am removing it into recycle bin because installation is done and now you see the current version i have this I VS code already here. So if I type here Nord V, then it will display current version 20 and 11. That is the latest one. Just I install in front of you. Now remember that. So we have learned how to install this and why we require Node.js because all the applications based on JavaScript like React, Next.js, TypeScript, Node.js all run on this Node.js software. Remember that. Now we have to create a new project for Next.js with TypeScript. So here I say npx create next app. Remember that now application name. So I say yt YouTube next TypeScript like this. In short, I can give press enter and it will ask some question. We have to give the answer of those. So it asking do you want to use TypeScript? I say yes because I am using TypeScript here, then it's saying you want to use this ESLint, yes, we want to use. Do you want to use Talvin? Yes, because in this in this series, I am using Talvin in place of Bootstrap. Now you see, do you want source directory? I say yes. Do you want app router? Yes, because it's the latest one. So 
do you want to customize the analysis no default setting and you see that automatically it will take few seconds and you will have your application you see done successfully we have created this project now go to this directory so say yt cls now we have this remember that this is the application under this src folder we have this page dot tsx this is typescript file now we have to run it so for running this i say npm run dev remember that we have to run by this and after that it will execute so you see just press control key click on this link and it will open this one and it is slicing trying to run it will take a little bit of time you see this is a default one remember so this default screen you are you having here in front of you so i need to modify this so i am removing all the code just main one i take it i remove all just i take main and this is the flex mean everything is justify here piece everything done by the next js so i'm not changing right now but here i am just displaying information that here i say dr webpen classes for next js with type script like this save this and you will see that this is will be display on the screen you see Dr. Weapon classes for next years with TypeScript. It's showing in black screen. For that, we can remove this information from other files and how to see the white screen in place of so this black screen. Because by default, in my browser, I have decided to use a dark theme. That's why it's coming in black one. But if how you can transfer this black one to white one and how you can modify it here. The Telwind CSS because this is Telwind by default is using here, and I don't need image also, so remove this also. So this is the first hello world type of application in Next.js with TypeScript. And you see that it's running successfully without any problem. So in this video, we have learned how to install Node.js. What is the purpose of Node.js? How to create first application with a TypeScript and how to run it. This much we have completed here. In next video, we are going to understand what is the directory structure of this, what is the mean of all these files and folder in this that we are going to understand in next video. So if you like it, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.